and welcome back to my channel. My name is Tamil Green, the Digital Midwife. In today's Canva tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do letter frames. See these beautiful letter frames right here that I've done with my name? I'm going to show you how to do exactly what I just showed you on the screen. And this, I, I love letter frames because there's so many different things you can do. I'm just going to show you one quick tip today on how you can do letter frames. And I'll also show you how to do, you know, a transparent background with that. So let's dig right on in. So the first thing you want to do is go over to your uh, search bar and you can go ahead and, and click here on elements on the left hand side. And once you click there, just type in letter frames. And what's going to come up, let me close myself out. What's going to come up? are a lot of different letters and these are kind of like picture frames but just letters so i'm going to spell my name out t a and if you notice i'm not actually sizing them correctly right now okay so i have three of them up here so i'm going to get t and i want to show you this how to you know kind of size them and if you notice let me back up if you notice, um, of course, I have a six letter name. So, of course, all of my letters are not going to fit here. So I have to resize them and to resize the letter. All you do is just click on it and make it active. And you'll notice that those circle bars come up and you're going to come just size it down. And I like to go from the left hand side or the, the corners, not, you know, and doing it that way. And I love to do it from mostly from the left hand side. And you notice those purple lines that come up, those grid lines, those are very helpful when trying to resize. So I may have to, you know, do it a couple times to get it exactly like I want it. All right. And if you resize it next to the letters that you want to keep it next to, it helps out a little bit. Okay. And you notice that those purple lines kind of gave me a place to stop at. Okay. So I'm going to get the E. All right, you need to just duplicate that one, right? Because it's the same letter. All right, so say if I don't want to, want to keep moving these over and over, right? So I give them space like I want to. And then now, as you learn in another tutorial on how to group elements together, I'm going to actually group these elements together. And I'm going to just highlight all of them using my mouse. And you see the word group comes up. I'm going to group them together. So now, if I want to give like a little style to these letter frames, I'm going to go into my folders and find my folder. And I'm just going to use the first thing that I see. And I'm going to make this into my letters. And all you're going to do is you see how I clicked over here and I came over here and brought it in here. Just drop it. I'm going to drag and drop it into each letter. I'm just going to keep clicking it, dropping it, clicking it over there, dropping it, clicking it, dropping it. OK, click it, drop it. There we go. And one more time, click it, drop it. All right. So now the letters are there, right? And you can do this with so many different things, okay? So if you only want the letters and nothing in the background, then you have to click on download. And again, this is a Canva Pro feature. So you have to click on transparent background and you want a PNG file and we want to download page 11. And when I click on it, it's gonna download. I'm just gonna title it transparent name all right and if i would like it with the white background i just download it keep it as a png file do not click transparent and then 
click done and then download and it's going to have the white background now you can of course change any colors in the background you like to using your brand colors you know any of any of those things just to make it stand out i'm just going to keep it white and i'm using the transparent one because as you saw in the beginning of the video i had it go across the screen right and in order for video pictures to go across videos they need to be transparent if that's the way you want it to go like not covering the whole video right so that is a very very quick tutorial on how to use letter frame if you create a letter frame picture using this tutorial I would love to see it if you want to drop me a link on my Facebook business page at Tamel Green, the digital midwife. I would love to see it or even tag me in it if you want me to see it. All right. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. And again, thank you for joining and watching the video today. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Talk to you soon. Bye.